So we, we are using this uh, use case as a, as a test bed hmm? because what the, the main aim of, uh, of the case is uh, giving the opportunity to develop and validate the technology. So remember this. The idea is that we have technologies, we are going to review some of them, and this is only the test bed in order to uh, validate them. Here I'm going to um, see, I'm, I'm going to present a, a very short video with only some screenshots. Uh, if you want to see the live demo, we will have it later on. And we will review which are the main technologies uh, implemented in the, in the case. could see, we are just uh, naming uh, several technologies that we have uh, implemented around this uh, virtual island and the virtual avatars. If we go and we pass through just uh, two or three of those technologies, one of them is, uh, for instance, the, the soundscape. The idea of soundscape is as a landscape is to create a, a real experience about the sound you can, uh, you can have if you visit the real place. So we have been recording real sounds, we have been introducing those sounds in the different uh, areas of the, of the virtual space. The idea is uh, that you have this real uh, experience that uh, you can hear things on your right if, if the play if the sound is being uh, on your right or the left you can move you can uh, approach a, a sound also or you can leave it behind so this is uh, the technology we have been implementing and and, <coughs> and uh, validating here you can have uh, your own experience about that later on Another thing is the video streaming. Video streaming is nothing new. 
everybody knows that you, uh, when you're uh, through the internet, you can uh, download video, sound, and uh, the idea with uh, the video streaming, what is really new uh, here is that when we are uh, in a virtual world, uh, we need also to download all the information about the virtual world. So uh, things are getting more complicated. So uh, we have been uh, researching on, on that and getting uh, finally uh, this final version of what we call uh, the video streaming in the uh, virtual world. I'm not going to go uh, into detail here. Samuel told us uh, before uh, what they have been doing uh, in the multilinguality area, the MLIF, Multilingual Information Framework, that has been also implemented and validated as in other uh, projects through our uh, use case. Well, some other technologies, because we are here talking about technologies. Uh, the path guiding, you will uh, have a, a later uh, presentation about this. The TV remote control in order to control the avatar and the movements uh, that have been uh, developed by one of our uh, partners. And now I'm going to um, leave the room to my colleague, uh, uh, Mr. Ojarsun, who is going to give you detailed information about the standardization of avatars, one of the uh, things that we have been developing. Hmm? Thank you, Antonio. Uh, okay, regarding the, the avatars, we have uh, decided to, to, to standardize uh, this part uh, because of the importance into a virtual world. If we uh, see a virtual world like an, in a conceptual way, we have that we have four elements: the virtual world it, it itself as a container of the of the information and 3D content, the user, the agent as a software simulation of a user, and the avatar that represent all the intelligent parts in the virtual world in order to communicate and collaborate themselves. So, uh, as uh, any other uh, element in a virtual world, uh, the avatar uh, presents some problems uh, regarding uh, the illusion of presence, the adaptability and the, the interoperability. So, we, uh, our focus is to, to solve them for, for the avatar. Uh, the presence, uh, okay, uh, all of us know that uh, if you go into a virtual world, you have uh, a lot of options for configuring your appearance, but there is a lack of other features like personality or communication skills or things like that. Uh, that uh, in the case of the uh, virtual travel use case, maybe they are more important because uh, a lot of people from different countries, cultures, uh, uh, the like, go into the same place and maybe they would like to be uh, well represented. So this is a special problem for the tourism, virtual tourism. Uh, other problem is the adaptability that focused on avatars. Uh, we refer to communication. In general, we have only one or two communication channels in a virtual world. Uh, maybe you have text or voice, or maybe only one of them. And other uh, channels, for, for example, for inclusion, like uh, seeing language or things like that, are not uh, uh, taken into account. Uh, so the preference or needs the, of the users are not taken into account. And other features, uh, like the language, uh, cannot be defined. And uh, this is other problem in the virtual travel use case, because people from different countries are accessing to the same place in the same moment. And the other problem, very common in all the presentations of Metaverse One project, is the interoperability. There are a lot of virtual worlds. 
and we have we have to create an avatar for each virtual world uh, where we are accessing. So we need a standard language for for defining in a high level this avatar. So basically, I could include uh, dozens of of slides about the research, but it's quite boring. So. Uh, basically, the result is the ADML language that is uh, a contribution for, for the MPV uh, standard uh, that we have developed. So basically, we have uh, three, uh, let's say, areas that uh, solve uh, the problem presented. One of them is the appearance that I'm not going into detail because uh, it has been done by Institute Telecom, uh, the group of Marius Prieda. Uh, the personality that uh, defines some attributes that uh, has been uh, defined for psychologists and people like that. Uh, and the communication area that defines uh, channels like uh, uh, speech, uh, text, uh, uh, sync language or other kind of communication. So just an example, uh, here we can see an, an X, uh, ADML file, it's an XML-based uh, file. Uh, in this part, we are defining uh, our communication channels, okay, the communication channels of our avatar. That is, okay, uh, I can speak, uh, my default language is the English, but I can speak French too, in, in which kind of channel, channel, for example, text or voice, uh, the, the sync language that I am, I am able to understand or, or to, to, to generate. Here we have the appearance. Uh, very briefly, uh, we define some attributes that specify how an avatar should be. Uh, for example, I would like to be a child in a virtual world with uh, blue, col uh, blue eyes and uh, carrying a bag uh, of red color. So basic basically, we uh, give the virtual world the responsibility for rendering uh, the, the avatar in, in this way. Uh, it's just a high level definition. So this is this is the personality part that is just uh, put some values to this traits that has been created by psychologists. And basically, uh, this uh, maybe seems uh, quite simple, but uh, uh, it, it uh, implied a big research. And uh, we have obtained some publications. Three of them are ISI candidates, uh, a book chapter, and my PhD. So it's quite uh, innovative. So. Thank you. Okay, thank you, David. So, uh, in the last three, four minutes, I'm just going to review uh, what uh, we have done. I mean, on the one side, we have uh, the technologies. We have review, more or less, some of them. On the other side, we have the use case. The use case, finally, is an integrator. So, it, uh, it is a package itself, functioning, uh, working. So, uh, it has its value. If uh, we think about this package on two different sides, on the one side is uh, the tourist side, on the other side is the, the destination side, we can see which are the main benefits for both parts. On the one side, the tourist uh, person, we are talking about the first innovative experience about uh, the destiny, uh, the destination. Uh, the, the tourist can experience somehow the main uh, hotspots of the of the place, and uh, even the tourists can uh, organize the trip at home beforehand. So these are some of the benefits for the tourists. If you if we talk about the destination, this is an, a new way of making uh, publicity also for 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 the, for the destination. We are talking about. In this case, uh, Gran Canaria. Gran Canaria is the first, in this case, the first island of the Canaries using virtual technology. This is a, uh, a good point. Uh, they can show main, the main resources of the island and uh, of the city. 
this is another good point. The idea for them is to get a better position in the market. They can do this also with the help of these virtual technologies. In, uh, in order to get what? In order to get more tourists, which is the main industry there. So attracting more tourists is one of the main reasons for all this. And uh, not only the number of tourists, but also the quality of the experience the, the tourist is, uh, uh, is having when visiting the island. We think that with this integral experience, uh, virtual and real, can provide a, a good feedback for, for the tourist. And in the last uh, minute, I'm going to give you the, the, uh, the exploitation plan we are developing about the use case. First of all, we have the, the, this package and uh, what we call the virtual travel. We already have interest by uh, several municipalities in the Canary Islands who, uh, which are trying to get something similar with the technologies inside. So as a package, it uh, can be also profitable. Then part of this uh, package can be also sold, as we call in this case uh, the virtual museum, for instance. We have an association of museums in the Canary Islands uh, interested in making all the museums uh, uh, digital, uh, virtual, virtualizing the different museums. So this is another thing uh, interesting. And out of the scope of uh, tourism, but taking into account the virtual technologies, uh, there is another area where uh, part of the partners which has been working in this use case are making money already. This is what we call the uh, virtual aid. Uh, we are developing also virtual technologies in order to, together with uh, GPS uh, positioning systems, uh, help uh, the community, for instance, in uh, extinguishing uh, fire in the, in the island. So these are three areas uh, that we would like to mention about exploitation. And that's it. Thank you very much. And next one. <laughs>